In this video, we'll see how we can use Cisco UCS Platform Emulator to test the UCS environment in a test lab. So Cisco UCS Platform Emulator, which is called as UCSPE, can be ran in a hypervisor such as VMware vSphere or VMware Workstation. Cisco UCS Platform Emulator is the Cisco UCS Manager, which usually runs in the Fabric Interconnects, but it can also be bundled into a VM, which includes the software and emulates the UCS hardware. With UCSPE, you can explore the user interface and run through the configuration scenarios. You can also import and export the configuration files to and from your existing UCS environment. So let's talk about downloading the Cisco UCS platform emulator. So as and when, when there's a new version of UCS, Cisco updates the UCS PE to match the latest version of UCS. So it can be downloaded from the Cisco website. So let me go into the link. So, all right, so this is the official link to download the Cisco UCS platform emulator. Now, just in case if this link doesn't work, so you can simply go into google.com and type Cisco UCS Platform Emulator. Now, you're going to have to click on the first link, which is UCS Platform Emulator DevNet Cisco. If you scroll down, you can click on the link that says Cisco UCS Platform Emulator is now available for download. All right, so again, this comes back to the link which I showed you earlier. Now you can see there's a link to download the UCS PE 3.0, which is the latest version of UCS PE. And also it says that it requires a cisco.com login. Now the login is free, so you can go ahead and create an account and it's completely free. So I'm gonna click on download UCS PE 3.0. Now, It'll also show the new hardware features and the known limitations of Cisco UCS PE. And if you scroll down, you can see that you can either download the UCS PE in OVA format or zip format. And also you can find the user guide and the release notes for UCS PE. So I'm gonna click on the link that says login to download. So I'm going to download the OVA file. I'm going to type in my credentials. I'm going to scroll down again. And this time I'm going to click on Cisco UCS Platform Emulator 3.01 CEPE1 OVA file. I'm going to agree the license terms. I'm going to save it. Now, in my case, I've already downloaded the PE in the in the OVA format, so I'm going to cancel this. Now, in my lab environment, I'm going to use VMware Workstation as my preferred hypervisor. So, let me show you how you can deploy the UCS PE in VMware Workstation. So, to import the OVA file, you just need to click on File and click Open and browse to the location where you have your OVA file. So I have my OVA file, so I'm going to select this and click on open. Now you can name your UCS PE. I'm going to simply name it as UCS PE and I'm going to save this 
in my virtual machines folder UCSPE which is a new folder that I've created for UCSPE I'm gonna select that click OK and I'm gonna click on import and once it is done you just need to power on the virtual machine and you'll see the console show the progress as it boots up now the initial boot may take some time since the emulator unpacks and installs Below are the hardware requirements it needs to power on and the OVA file that you import will take care of configuring the virtual machine with these hardware requirements. Alright, so you can see that the installation is successful and now it's starting the UCSPE and the UCS Manager. Okay, when the UCSPE boot process is completed, you'll see the console at the login prompt. In the console, you'll also see the UCSPE's UI IP address, which in my case is 192.168.17.130. The UCSPE acquires an IP address only if there's any DHCP server available on the network. You can also configure a static IP address if you don't want to use a DHCP IP. Now using a browser we can open the UI of UCSPE by typing the IP address in the address bar. So it's going to be http.192.168.17.130 Alright, in the main screen you can launch the UCS Manager or the KVM Manager. On the left side you'll see the settings like UCS Manager, Emulator Settings and Restart. Now if you click on Emulator Settings you can see things such as Startup Inventory and in Startup Inventory you can add UCS devices virtually by simply dragging and dropping from the product catalog to the stash. Now with this you can build you can build up a virtual UCS environment. In my case I only have one chassis and eight half width blades which is UCS B200 M3. Now if you click on the other links on the left side, status summary, fabric interconnect, database persistence, high availability, single wire management, direct connect rack, startup config URL, hardware catalog. Now with these options, I mean these options are good enough to build a virtual UCS environment to look like a physical UCS environment with all possible configuration. So if you click on database persistence it will let you to specify if your UCSP will go to factory reset upon each 
reboot or else you can save the configuration every time you reboot so the default setting is to preserve the UCS database upon restart and if you click on high availability you can specify whether you need dual or single fabric interconnect for your high availability now in my case I've selected dual FI which provides the high availability for my blades you can click on single wire management to enable it or to disable it similarly you can click on direct connect rack to again to enable it or disable it and you can also specify the startup URL the startup configuration URL whether to use the local inventory or if you want to load the inventory from another UCSPE or you want to load an UCS inventory from a physical or external UCS environment. In my case I've selected use local startup inventory which will use the local inventory which is available for UCSPE. Now if I click on hardware catalog it will show all the available devices and peripherals in UCSPE. With these options in your hand and after you configure your virtual UCSP environment you can launch the UCS manager. So if I click on the startup inventory I have a single chassis with eight blades and I, and I have two fabric interconnect which is good enough to explore UCS manager. So to launch UCS Manager, click on UCS Manager and click on UCS Manager Home and click on the button that says Launch UCS Manager. And you can also see that it requires Java Runtime Environment 1.6 or higher to be installed on your local computer from where you are going to run the UCS Platform Emulator. So I'm going to click on Launch UCS Manager and I'm going to save this and I'm going to save the Java shortcut on the desktop now I'm gonna click on now I'm gonna click on the Java shortcut and you'll be presented with few Java warnings which you have to accept so I'm gonna click on run Alright, in the login screen, you're going to type the default administrative username and password, which is config and config. Now, after you log in, you'll be presented with the UCS Manager interface. So, from here on, you can fully manage your virtual UCS platform. Now, let's talk about some other options that are available in the UCSPE. Now, let's talk about the KVM Manager, which is which is available in UCSPE as well. So, if I click on Launch KVM Manager, I'm going to have to type in the default username and password for the KVM Manager, which is config and config again. And the domain, I have to select native. I'll click on OK. Now from here on you will see the KVM manager of all your service profiles. Since I don't have any service profile created that is the reason why I am seeing an empty list. Now you can also access UCSPE from uh, ACSH client such as PuTTY. So not just from your UCS manager you can access your UCSPE but also from SSH client like PuTTY. So all you need to do is to type the IP address of your UCSPE which is 192.168.17.130 and click on yes on the certificate warning. Now the default username and password to access the UCSPE from SSH client is CLI user as the username and the password is also CLI user. So you can see here that connect NXOS and connect local management commands are not supported in UCSPE. 
Now one other option that I would like to talk about is is the restart option. So from here on you can restart your UCSPE with the current settings or you can reboot the VM which is hosting the UCSPE. You can also shut down the VM which is hosting the UCSPE or if you want to you can reset to the factory default settings by clicking perform factory reset. So this is it about UCS platform emulator. I hope you liked the video so for more videos please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video.